Hello everybody and welcome back to A Man Who Has Five Feet. My name is Evan Ettinger and this is a Luke Cutforth. I am a Luke Cutforth. It is true. Yay me. Today we're making an interesting video about being held back or not, a thing that the UK doesn't do. Also, today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. You'll hear more about them at the end of the video. But, yeah Luke, why don't you guys hold your students back if they fail over here? Uh, why don't we? Okay, yeah. so this is the thing that I think there's, every few years it kind of gets discussed mm -hmm. um, in Parliament. I'm like, disgusted. What? Okay. Uh, every few years it gets discussed, and then um, I guess it's just like there's there's not an awful lot of evidence to support it, as far as I know. What that it's that it helps. That it helps. Yeah, I think the stuff I've seen it generally is like uh, it helps maybe for a couple of years, but by the time you actually get to the end of school, the results are sort of negligible. And one of the theories on that I think is like because actually it gives you quite a big knock of confidence to be held back. Oh yeah, definitely. And so that might actually then make you less, like his confidence is part of, it's not just mm. being like thrown a bunch of information, it's also about confidence and um, emotional development and all that kind of thing. So then, because for us, if you fail a grade, which means if you get under a 70% usually, like a D mm. for the entire average, you strongly get, I think it's not strongly, you just have to get held back at that point if it's under which means you then spend another year not with your friends, you have to make new friends. Yeah. Being the older kid. I think you've just answered why we don't have it, I guess, is because I think- But then what do you do? Do you just constantly have the kid like failing upwards? Uh, yeah, very possibly. Obviously there are downsides to both strategies, yeah. but your side sort of leans towards, our side sort of leans towards a, a kind of holistic view of education, which mm -hmm. is it's not just about um, information retention and comprehension of that information. Yeah. It's also about, you know, you're learning how to operate in the world and learning how to sort of make friends and sort of, uh, you know, but be a person. Isn't that a risk then of having students finish the schooling system not being able to retain like the derivative of 2x dx? Oh, yeah, From man. 10 to 13. What a horrible outcome that would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, basic things then, like certain history, geological stuff. Yeah, so that's, that's exactly the point is that I guess... Or at least English. It's sort of a wider philosophical discussion about mm -hmm. what the purpose of school is and it sounds like the american system if you have the system where you're holding people back or indeed letting people skip years mm -hmm. as well um that is focusing entirely on information retention and information comprehension yeah. which is the sort of surface level yeah, yeah, yeah. purpose There's of school more than that's what you're saying yeah and i think that the the downsides of holding people back i guess might be the reason why it's not been implemented although i think it is quite a popular idea I think it's fairly well um, accepted by mm -hmm. by sort of the general population. If you poll people in the UK, they're actually kind of favourable for it. Because yeah, don't you feel like rather yeah. than have a student failing and then going to the next class and then always failing to possibly be held back, so that now wow they got they did well and then they get confidence from that, e from actually like being better because they've had to learn it already once, and so then they're a bit better off. Yeah, to be clear, I don't think there's any any bad like and there's nothing inherently bad about the idea of, of holding mm -hmm. people back and actually yes the, what you're sort of describing there i guess is like the idea of holding people back sort of moves it closer to this um like you having your own individual uh almost like tutoring right because yeah yeah if you're taking longer the school holds you back and then you get to relearn everything mm -hmm. and that is the positive side i guess of it is that um you get you get a sort of a slightly more customized schooling experience. Whereas in, in our schooling experience, it's just like, you're in this class, you'll be in this class. You guys have sets, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So we, don't, we don't really, from my experience, I never really had sets until you get to like high school and then you have like the ah. standard college prep and then honors or AP advanced placement. And maybe you don't have sets because if you fail, you just get held back. So like our yeah. version is like, um, if you've got, for example, maths, yeah. you go into like different math sets. And, Which are um, full of people, students that are also as the same level as you. Yeah, right. It'd be like, it's like in a, a few bands, right? You've got like higher, you've got sort of middle, and then you'll have like I lower think, end. Personally, I think that allows the students that are really good to excel yes. more. But then what about the other people? Well, the, the other people get sort of like you probably, each set is probably targeting a certain grade. Right? Uh, and mm -hmm. so if you're in the top set, you are looking to get an A star A. If you're in the medium set, maybe you're looking to get a B or a C. And if you're in the lower set, maybe you're looking to get like a D um, or a C, right? And so um, if you're in the lower sets, you, they're probably not teaching you. They're probably teaching you enough to get what they expect the grade that you will get. And that can be to a certain extent like a false, uh, a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Um, but it's about like 
accepting where somebody's at, yeah. meeting them where they're at, and then trying to raise them up. And if you, you know, are like targeting a, a C or a D, and then you're being taught the stuff that will, that will like set you apart in the A star A band, that's a waste of your time, to be honest. Really? I, I mean, I might... think, do I think every student has the potential to get the A's and the A stars? I don't. I don't disagree with you. But, but then also, everyone has different problems with their family and things. Yeah. That might hold, oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and you know, school can try and do something about that. But there's only so much the school can do, especially when it's a state school and there's limited resources and limited number of teachers and massive class sizes. Yeah. Um, the thing that I find really sad about it, really, about the idea of being held back or not being held back, is it's sort of a weird discussion where actually. Um, there are people with different abilities and if we had sort of smaller class sizes, for example, mm -hmm. the idea of having to set people and also having to hold people back might not be necessary because the teacher can actually just give time to an individual more than rather than having to teach a massive class. And that's a problem of resources. It's not the teacher's yes. problem. Yes. Uh, like I believe I remember in uh, when I took psychology, psychology, I learned that they did a study and found out that students in the front row actually get a better education than students in the back row. Oh my god. Which meant that, and usually teachers like putting the students in the front that they like the most, and so they actually get a better education. The people that are failing continue to fail worse oh. because they're not as engaged with the class. And I thought that was absolutely fascinating. Uh, so I guess teachers' pets, you know, further that dream yeah, of things. Yeah, that's really weird, yeah. Because I, I, I had some classes where we're allowed to pick where we sit, and some classes where we're sat. By your letter, right? Like, Edinger uh, was E, so I had to sit usually fourth or fifth seat. Oh, no. I don't think it was ever done alphabetically. Ours was always alphabetical seating, yeah. <laughs> that seems so arbitrary. Like, we usually had, like, uh, like the naughtiest kid would have been in the front row. So, for example... That's good. That, yeah. Okay. Because they're trying... I mean, I, I never thought about it from the perspective of the, te the, the front row actually gets a better education. Mm -hmm. I thought about it as, like, teacher wants to be able to keep an eye on you so you're not being naughty. Or if they're a bit skeezy. What does that mean? Uh, you know, like a bit. I definitely had teachers that put selective girls in the front to ogle. That was just my perspective. What? Very creepy. Just yes, but in was, what year? Uh, high school, which is still fucked up. I just no, want to say. no, that is. Uh, but yes. I mean, what year in high school? High schools are. Oh, uh, I, mean, all, I remember that happening in ninth up, grade. Definitely. It's... One was ninth grade. Ninth grade. Yeah, I don't. Wanna, oh yeah, there was ninth grade. Definitely. Oh my um, God. But this is took a turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't have to do with being held back, I guess, but similar topic. What Can't percentage be, of students do you think, uh, what percentage of students do you think get held back on average? Well, I, th I mean, I, I... In the US, obviously, because you guys don't do it. I would imagine most people get held back at least one year. What? No. Oh, really? 10%. 10%? I thought 10% was high when I read that figure. So they get held back at least one year? No, as in 10% of students get held back once. At all. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. For, I say, yeah, that was. A it's silly. quite rare to get held back, but the max you can get held back is two years, because yeah. anything more than that, the public school system doesn't afford uh, people that are over twenty years old. So once you're twenty one, you you can't legally drink and be in high school. Just doesn't. Do you have any information as to whether holding back actually works? Yes, I believe there was a study done by Harvard recently that showed that I think it was. Uh, it actually did help short-term gains of math and English retention. Yeah. So the students did have a big benefit, but they didn't actually find any correlation between students that were held back versus not and going into secondary education. Oh, so you can be held back in primary school as well? Yes, yeah. Third right. grade reten third grade hold back is one of the most uh, popular times to hold a student back because of a certain reading level. They want to make sure that by the time you graduate third grade, your reading level is at a very specific spot. And if it's not, it's incredibly encouraged to take them back, which of all things, I do think reading is the most important, you know, in society to know of reading and writing. Mm. So that's the one that was studied mostly. But like I said, it did actually have a benefit for most of the students in the short term, mm. but they didn't actually find anything for if they went into upper education, uh, higher likelihood. I feel as well, like, I mean, obviously you can't cater to this because mm -hmm. um, it, it sucks. It, like kids will always find things to bully each other for. Yes. But I feel like getting held back, held back, would be like a real source of bullying. And then you're just like, like there's already the problem. But you're bigger than them now. Well, you become the bully. You are, but maybe they'll all like hold back your fist. They're all gang up on you. Like if you're you, you might be bigger than them. But if there's like five of them, and it's also like emo emotional bullying. Oh it's yeah, not yeah. Necessarily like punching you. Yeah, um, it doesn't feel good to to know that you got held back. It's a big confidence thing. I think, like you said. Um, however, I think usually after the first year, you're then part of that year, 
Yeah. So it's not like everyone knows you from, especially because at least from my school area, you go to the same primary school until sixth grade mm. and then you move on to middle school and then high school. So people aren't going to know if you move to a different high school that you were held back in third grade. It's actually a really interesting point as well, because like the idea of holding, holding back, mm -hmm. um, it also comes into the sort of the idea we have, which is like, you're put in year boundaries based on when you were born, right? It's like horoscopes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and what's really strange about that is like you can be really young for your year, and mm -hmm. you can be really old for your year, and you can you're actually in the same year as somebody who's like 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 eleven months older than you. Yeah. And then the oldest people in the year below are like a couple of weeks younger than you. Yeah, you would have been eight months older than me because you're in April. I'm a July, so I graduated high school at 17, <gasps> and I was always the youngest in every single class. Uh, and that's because at the, the, you have the decision as a parent when your child turns like four mm. to put them in then or wait a year. And my parents put me in early, and I played a lot of Math Blaster, a lot of video games about learning, so I was totally fine. And when's your year boundary in America? I believe it is, what do you mean year boundary? Oh, so you, but, but your parents can pick, so there might be, isn't you, it? You can boundary. only pick if you're a summer child. Okay. So, we, yeah. Our year boundary, I think, is September, I'm pretty sure. Oh, um, I think ours is August, because our school year, if you know, as you know, starts in September and ends in June. So we have July and August completely off to party it up. Right, because I was really young for my year as well, I think. As an April birthday? Ah, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I, I well, I was really small for my year. Oh, well, um, you're really small for your year still, so. Like, <laughs> so maybe, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I just, I'm five foot ten plus, so. Yeah, so maybe I actually was about half, I was like bang in halfway, actually, I think, maybe. Um, yeah, but I, I do find it a very interesting thing that you have, like, you can be in a school year based mm -hmm. on, um, that is essentially like being held back. Yes, it is. If mm -hmm. you're really or skipping. old for your year or you're really young for your year, that's like being in the wrong year. It's like being but, held back or skipping, uh, yeah. Are you guys in the UK allowed to skip forward? No. I what? Mean, so I'm talking very generally. I think there are a few cases of people being held back. Sure. I think there are, I don't think I've ever heard of a case of skipping forward. Really? Because that's a big thing. If you pass yeah. a lot of tests really, really well, they're like, why don't we push him forward? Because he can exceed even more. Like he's wasting his time. Yeah. As a kid, uh, if I wasn't fully engaged and I felt bored of the content, I would then do badly. <laughs> Boy, I'd put it on two times speed and so. <laughs> <laughs> If they had two times content in school, I would have done so much better. I just got bored and so they had to have special classes to be like, wake up. I, yeah, I, I, I okay, I'll put it this way. I learned about mm. being held back in school yeah. from American TV that I was watching. So if it is occasionally a thing, then maybe, uh, maybe but, it But happens. your thought is it's probably just because you've seen too much TV. Well, I just don't think it particularly happens in the UK um, mm -hmm. ever. Uh, and not even like a genius boy would skip forward? I don't think so. Well, you might but be put into um, a special learning I did, which was leap. A higher maths. Yeah. So like right. I then did an extra thing on top of doing maths. I did like higher maths yeah, I did as well. Yeah, yeah. So I learned a more, like I was doing a bit of A-level maths whilst I was doing GCSE maths. What um, year would that be? That was year... 11, so... Oh, wow, so quite late. Yeah, so that's us with advanced placement. You could take yeah. the college math and take the standard math, but in primary school, we only had the option of they'd pull you aside if your school had the budget for it to the, you're going to do the advanced, like, logical reasoning and cultural diversity classes while everyone else does, like, basic reading. Yeah, and that would have been top set. And we also had, like, gift, okay. the gifted and talented that was program. What I, that's what it was, yeah. Um, which, you know, has various... Uh, criticisms. I do agree, well. but I also think from my experience of it, that helped me be better, I guess. But also I understand that not everyone had that opportunity, but I tested to it. So it's not like my yeah. fault. Yeah. But I also understand that everyone should have the opportunity for that level of one-on-one -on -one teaching. But obviously that's Wait, budgeting. Wait, one-on-one -on -one teaching? So it was like three-on-one. So it was like three students in my entire year and we would spend about two periods of primary school being with a teacher who would help us through logical reasoning wow. tests and puzzles. And that would help our minds grow in that way. And we'd learn about Japan, we'd learn about different cultures. Uh, and then we'd go back and it was because we had tested like 100% on the math and the reading tests. Oh. And so they were like, we don't need them to be in here. <laughs> I didn't do anything like that. No, not at all. I went to like summer camp physics. At, at, That's pretty cool. At Durham University. That's not cool. I did after school, <laughs> after school extra maths. Didn't you um, do a robot club as well? <laughs> Did you get that from my Wikipedia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. A, yeah. In year like eight, I was part of like this robot team mm -hmm. and we like built robots and we went off to do robot challenges and we won one of the robot challenges. So that was pretty cool. 
Um, so in the end, do you actually think we should hold our children back if they aren't up to spec? No. Really? I think we should... So yeah, this has been a lovely conversation, resources. but I'm also thinking yeah. that still should be a thing, but also the jury's still out. But I think it's... I like the option for safety. I think we should put a bit more resources into schooling and have a bit more... Um, have smaller class sizes Absolutely, yes. and more opportunities for mm. people to be helped if they're struggling and... Tutoring, yes, yeah. there, there's 100% should be more tutoring for kids that need that ability. And you have it on the extreme end, like, so sure. if you have, like, learning difficulties, you're taken away into a yes. different class. But that has a lot of negative connotations, at least where Massively. I'm from. Massively, yeah, 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 of course. Which is frustrating because that's so important, but yet mm -hmm. kids are going to bully for anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's interesting because I remember in primary school people being taken off for um, special needs... Uh, we had it for speech therapy. Classes. And I never knew where they were going. I was always mm -hmm. just like, where's Sam off to? <laughs> I never really got it. Um, they didn't really explain it. That's then, probably best for bullying yeah, purposes. Yeah, but then I, I don't feel like I was in a class that would have been particularly cruel about it if they'd known. And maybe they did know. Maybe I was just really oblivious. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't personally feel we should be holding people back because it, it, I see school as about so much more than just... Learning numbers and, and retention yeah, yeah. and that stuff it's so much more than that it's like little it's like a little tiny society that you're learning to be part of mm -hmm. and so if you you know if i if i gave you right we're in society and i want to find out how good you are at using a mac mm -hmm. and then you're not very good at using a mac and so i take you away from all your friends <laughs> like that's just so well then weird. you get good at a mac yeah and then you don't have any of your friends anymore. <laughs> you have a Mac, it's fine. This is not sponsored by Mac. However, please, if you have a different opinion uh, or you agree with Luke or me, leave a comment, we can have a discussion. I just thought this was an interesting topic because I couldn't believe they don't hold kids back in the UK. And there's no right or wrong answer, but I thought it was interesting. Also, today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Luke, you use NordVPN, right? Yes. yes. Uh, NordVPN is great <laughs> use of my time as someone who's been staying in different Airbnbs for the last five months. So that way no one in this place can steal my data or at least look on the network and see what I'm doing if they're pretty knowledgeable. Also, it allows me to watch my Netflix in the US where they have a much larger, I was going to say suppository, but that's not the right word. <laughs> they have a larger selection. Yeah. I think that's a better word. <laughs> Bigger things up there, bums Much bigger things up there. Netflix. Plus, uh, I believe there's a massive holiday special on NordVPN, so if you have not used NordVPN yet, why not sign up with my link, nordvpn.com slash Evan, or use code Evan at checkout. Get a giant discount on a two-year plan. Get a month free. Just come on, ho, ho, ho. Sign up. Get your protected security. Ho, ho, ho. 24-7 customer support. Anyway, thanks, NordVPN, for sponsoring today's video. And like I said, please leave me a comment if you agree or disagree with me or Luke, and we can have a little chat in the comments. Hopefully this is the final video you will see from this flat until I move to my very own. Thanks for all the support. Goodbye. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> Goodbye. There's another video in the corner if you'd like.